Hey guys, Tony here, and welcome to Kingdom Rush. I have been waiting for this game to come out on Steam for so long now. I've been following it for over half a year. I played the heck out of it on iOS and when it was on Arma Games, and it's finally on Steam. Came out today, January 6th. You can grab it on Steam for about $7.50 uh, American dollars. Uh, special promo price only for the first week ends on January uh, 13th, I believe. So let's get started and jump right into this. Um, so we start here. There we are. So this is a tower defense game for those who don't know it. And our objective is to protect our lands from the enemy and build defensive towers along the road to stop them. And yada yada yada. Basic tower defense game. Um, there are a few things that are different. Uh, which you will see in a second. Okay. So, it's not unlike your um, t regular tower defenses. You have enemies, they come along this road, and you're supposed to stop them. You call in waves early, which I'm gonna do, because I'm fairly confident that I can kill them. Watch me eat those words. Um, but it's quite nice. The map's very intuitive, so I can do things with the mouse. It's very interactive, so I can play around the sheep. So, they just bot like that. Um, so we get special powers, reinforcements. So what sets a, what I really like that sets it apart is that Freedom! instead of just towers, I can also have like little militia. And what they do is they can they attack the enemy, and they have to f since the enemy have to fight them, they just stop and on the path and fight. So that actually gives the towers a little bit extra time to attack the enemies, even though probably that time is not too important. Got an achieve. Especially if I... Oh dear. <laughs> well, um... <laughs> Let's stop doing that. Uh, there we go. <clears throat> so, yeah, I was about to say, the difference between um, some of the enemies, so... We have the, uh, the barracks, the archer tower, the mage tower. So the mage tower does magic. Which is a bit slower. Magic uh, ignores the armor, so here we have low armor. And the skull represents how many lives we lose if we let them pass, so we only have 20 lives. We can let 20 enemies through, bef well, 19 before we lose. We, we have 20 and we lose. A bit of a tip. There we go. Most of the stuff I already know because I played the heck out of this game, but I just thought, you know, I love this game so much. Um, most of the better stuff is locked, unfortunately, because this is like the very first level, so it's more of a hold your hand kind of thing. Um, but I thought, why not record it? And uh, we'll see how it goes, but <clears throat> what I would really like to do is I would really just love to get like a full playthrough and just do the whole game, but I, I feel like, you know, just watching me do this might be a little bit boring, so. I might skip some of the boring levels and just go like right for the epic boss battle. But then I'd have to like play through the whole game. There we go. So we got a new power, we can make it rain meteors wherever we want, so if we do this just kill a bunch of enemies like that. But yeah, everything's locked unfortunately. So every tower gets uh, upgraded three times. So we have level 1 tower, level 2 tower, level 3 tower, and then we have the level 4 tower. And level 4 tower is a really special tower. That, um, when you get to level 3, you can, when you get to level 4, you can choose to upgrade it to two different things. There we go. So we got three stars, flawless victory. You can continue onwards and go to the next level. But like I was saying, the, oh, so here's the world map, so we go all the way like this. Now, this world map is a lot different from the one I'm used to but uh, we can go here and we can spend our stars on upgrades and stuff so um, hmm. I'm a big fan of the soldiers so his archer tower the barracks the wizards tower the artillery the bomb tower meteor shower and reinforcements so I'm gonna upgrade the reinforcements and the barracks because I like using the soldiers and let's move on to the next battle. Here we go. Level 2 towers. Okay. Um, so put a bomb tower there. I 
extra tally there. I think that's all our money. Little tip. There we go. Basic strategy. Barracks are good for blocking the enemy, but lack in attack power. Make sure you have enough firepower to support them. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. I don't have a barracks yet, but uh, we'll get one. <coughs> Fairly confident this will stop the enemy. Just windmills. Let's see if there's anything else I can click on. Uh, the sheep explode. I know, like, sometimes you get achievements and stuff from this. No? That doesn't want to work. Sorry for the frantic clicking. Okay, so I think we're in some good shape here. We need 70 gold if we want to get another tower up. Now I'm thinking... Maybe I'll make this one a barracks. Uh, we'll have to see, though. But there we are. Should really be rushing these waves. Uh, barracks. For honor and glory. Little wolf howl. For the king. That's a bit strange. So, um, this is what I'm talking about, the whole, it's just kind of a watch me kill things kind of game. But, uh, I quite enjoy it. Having a lot of fun. Let's just call these waves in early, trying to make this go faster. Uh, like I said, I could just record, like, the really big boss battles. But, uh, okay. Wait for a hundred, then we'll, we'll get a wizard's tower down here. Yeah, they're starting to bring armored enemies in, that's not good. There we go. Like a job. So our reinforcements recharges every 10 seconds, and the meteor strike every 90 seconds. So the meteor shower is a bit expensive to use over and over again. It's more of a kind of last minute save yourself kind of thing. Ah, new enemy. Wolf, very fast, vicious creatures that can dodge melee attacks. Very low speed, well, very low health, very fast speed. Read that incorrectly. My fault. There we go. <coughs> so these guys are always, I mean, they're in for the rest of the game and they annoy the heck out of me. They die very quickly, but they just run through everything, so it's quite annoying. Uh, only two waves left, so let's try to get this done. It's only the second level, so... I mean, <laughs> not much really you could do about it. Um, let's just get some more reinforcements, and I think uh, Meteor here. Oh, there's a lot of goblins. I should have saved it for the goblins. It's fine. Upgrade the archer tower. There we go. So, um, according to uh, Ironhide Studios, who makes the game, they don't want—they don't like the microtransaction stuff. So, just by buying this game, you already have all the content, all the content that's coming out too. Like, uh, I think the newest one is like uh, Curse of. Castle something. I'm not 100% sure. I'll double check that. It's on the world map. Um, but yeah, they don't like all the microtransactions, so they won't make you pay for everything. Just the one time purchase, and that's it. I do love the variety. The uh, variety in the game, I mean, there's only four towers, but you feel like there's a lot more towers. Because, like I was talking about, those level four towers. Um, the level four splits into very two unique towers. And they do fit in with the tower, so the archer tower, I believe, goes to like uh, musket men or like forest rangers, which is really cool. I'm actually having a slight breach here. Oh dear. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Okay, that should stop. That was quite a close call, actually. Um, 160. Could go for another right here. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. It's only right level 2, and I'm already starting to slip up. It's the can't talk and play very well. It's always that curse. Multitasking.
There we go, I think I got this. Three stars! We get three stars? There we go, three stars. Another three stars to spend. Okay. Here we go. Curse of Castle Blackburn, coming soon. And I believe there's also like a couple more. I'm not 100% sure of that. But I do know that they, the whole map is accessible, so we can go like here, everywhere. It's a place that you can go. Uh, let's spend these upgrades. I think I'm going to spend them here. Now, the alternatively, you can go to the hero room, and you can unlock heroes. So, uh, complete campaign, stage 12, stage 9, 8, 6, 4. So if we just keep going, we can unlock these heroes, and the heroes were kind of like the troops, except they're obviously a lot better. And you can see they got some stats here, so like melee, health, range, and speed. But uh, we'll see how they work next time. There's a little bit of a look inside Kingdom Rush, let me know what you think. I'm definitely going to be playing this game, so let me see, if, let me know if you want to see more gameplay footage. And I'll see you all later. Bye!